Julissa Garza live in the Heights where residents of a senior living facility have been without power for days. Julissa, how many people are impacted here? Yeah, well, Cheryl, there's about 230 people that live here at this independent senior living facility. I spoke with a lot of them today who tell me it has just been too hot to be upstairs. They each have their own individual apartments, but they've been hanging out on the first floor trying to keep cool. They tell me it's been difficult with no power and they, like many, are hoping that it comes back on soon. Saturday outside of the Houston Heights towers, you can see windows open and residents sitting outside trying to cool down as they go another day with no power. Oh, it's been awful. Dale is one of the residents here and lives on the seventh floor. You, uh, you can't stay up there. You have to come down and there's a breeze down here. You can always find a cool spot. Houston City Council member Abby Kamen tells us she received calls from people expressing their concerns for the residents here, so she came to take a look. This is absolutely unacceptable. Uh, I'm extremely concerned for the welfare of our residents. Uh, Kamen says these residents haven't had a hot meal since Thursday, so she made a call to Crowdsource Rescue. And we had a number of volunteers who were able to come to and help deliver all this food, and so we are planning on delivering it uh, lunch and dinner until further notice. Residents like Dale are thankful, taking the meal as a sign. I'm just hoping that means that lights are going to come back on and stay. The Houston Fire Department also paying a visit to make sure residents are OK. If we can provide food, if we can provide water, a bit of cooling in these areas, maybe we can uh, prevent the need to, to have an emergency calls come out here. There is a generator helping provide some relief to the people who live here. The backup generator that is powering the water pump, so they do have running water. Uh, the elevators are working. Again, behind me, you see a lot of seniors in wheelchairs. But while plates of food were being made, the generator flicked on and off more than once. Leaders are hoping they can find a temporary solution. We're able to step in and get help in as quickly as possible, uh, but you got to see it to believe it, and um, we have a lot of work to do. And reminding the community to take care of each other as many wait for power to come back on. We're about 75% above our normal call volume, and uh, it's going to continue because the temperature is going to continue to rise. And so we're doing everything we can to try and ensure that we that we prevent some of those medical issues from. Now, we did speak with a manager here who was actively working with council member Cayman, as well as Chief Benya, trying to figure out a temporary solution for these residents as they await for the power to come back on. We did speak with Centerpoint earlier today, reached out again, asking if there was a timeline for when they could get power back here or in the Heights area. We've yet to hear back on a specific time. Meanwhile, council member Cayman asked anyone who knows of a senior facility or anywhere that's without power and needs help to reach out. Live in the Heights, Jalissa Garza, KHOU 11 News. Yeah, Jalissa, that's critical, especially for folks there who rely on medical equipment. Thanks for staying on top of that.